So I've been asked by some of you to share my own thoughts on the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles as Aliens debate. But first, I gotta say up front that no matter how upset we might get, it won't make any difference to Paramount Pictures and Michael Bay. That's because nothing could eclipse the amount of trash talk and downright hate voiced over the Transformers franchise, yet it still made a ton of money. In fact, the last one raked in a billion dollars all by itself, and Transformers 4 is slated for June 2014. Therefore, understandably at this point, Bay and Paramount don't take our threats seriously. Second, I also have to admit that I personally never got Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I've tried several times, even renting the 2007 animated film because, hey, I love comic books and I love animation, but still, just didn't get it. However, I do understand what it means to love a franchise and hope that Hollywood respects it. Is that too much to ask? With Hollywood, that's a complicated question. See, when they do respect the source material, as in Kick-Ass, Scott Pilgrim, and even Watchmen, the result is a box office flop. And the reason is because not only did the fan base not do enough to back up the movie, did you pay to see all those movies in theaters, but also because the mainstream audience found those films off-putting. Too violent, too niche, too much blue private parts. That's why Christopher Nolan has had so much success. He managed to find the sweet spot, pleasing both the fan base and the mainstream. And he did that not by adhering blindly to the source material, but by trying to make it work as a film. Batman being trained by Ra's al Ghul, who has a doppelganger? Scarecrow is the villain he goes up against first? And who is this Rachel Dawes that's suddenly from his childhood and the love of his life? In the hands of another director, we'd be furious, but with Nolan, we loved it, which in turn allowed him to change the entire genre. Now, of course, Michael Bay is no Christopher Nolan, and this writing team of Josh Applebaum and Andre Nemec, who previously wrote for Alias and Mission Impossible 4, is not particularly reassuring. But maybe making the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, or Ninja Turtles as they're now called, aliens, is what it'll take to make the mainstream embrace them again, for a new generation to join the fan base. Wouldn't you love for these characters to be popular again? Plus, let's face it, with the amount of money it's going to cost to animate Leonardo, Donatello, Michelangelo, and Raphael, the movie has to appeal to as broad a demographic as possible if it's going to make any money, much less be a hit. And humanoid turtles who know kung fu as well as crack jokes and eat pizza are a tough sell as is. All I'm saying is let's wait to see the trailer, because I thought the Total Recall remake was going to be all kinds of stupid until I saw the futuristic world building they're doing in the trailer and found myself intrigued. Never say never in Hollywood. I hope you'll share your own thoughts down below. I'm Grace Randolph, and this has been a Movie Bite. You can watch more right now.